We're going to first of all think about this strawberry yogurt and I want you to think about what resources are used to make this yogurt and its pot and where do they come from? You might want to pause the video whilst you have a think about this. Did you come up with the fact that the pot was made from plastic which we make from crude oil? The lid is made out of aluminium foil and the aluminium would have originally come from a rock within the Earth's crust. The yoghurt would have contained milk from dairy farms and the strawberries are also produced on farms. And you may well have thought of many other ingredients and resources that would have gone into making such a product. So what environmental impact is producing such a yoghurt have? Well here's a few of the things. So first of all to get the milk to make the yoghurt we need cattle farming. And cattle farming contributes to global warming because cattle produce a lot of methane, CH4, which is a greenhouse gas. Furthermore, to get the cattle farming in the first place, the area of land will have probably have gone under deforestation. And with deforestation that also con contributes to global warming because there are no trees to take in the CO2 from the atmosphere anymore. So there's a net increase in CO2 in the atmosphere. Did you think of the fact that for the aluminium, the aluminium ore would have to be extracted by quarrying? And with quarrying, this would have led to habitat loss and also the machinery would have released emissions such as CO2, which would have contributed to global warming. Furthermore, to make the plastic, we are extracting crude oil and crude oil is a finite resource. It will one day run out. So all of these environmental impacts just to make one pot of yoghurt. And what about disposal? How are we going to get rid of that? Well, probably in most cases, it would have ended up in a landfill site. In landfill, decay by microorganisms will contribute to global warming because microorganisms breaking down the matter will respire and during respiration will release CO2. Much of the yogurt pot, however, would remain in landfill for thousands of years as many parts, like the plastic, are not biodegradable. So you're having a really long-term impact on the environment if you're throwing that yogurt pot straight into the bin. So what's the alternative? Well, of course, the alternative is recycling. And recycling is collecting and processing materials so that they can be used again. And the advantages of this are that they use less raw materials. So in terms of the yogurt pot, you're talking about less crude oil needing to be extracted to make the plastic and less aluminium ore being quarried to get the aluminium. It also uses less energy because all of these extraction process for these raw materials requires a lot of energy. And it reduces waste and pollution. So as much as we can, we should be recycling any products that we are using rather than putting it into landfill. Now sometimes that's complicated by the packaging if it's not clearly labelled what can and can't be recycled. And secondly, different councils have different strategies for helping you recycle, so it can get quite complicated. But most councils will ask you to separate your materials, for example plastics, paper, metal and glass, to make the recycling process easier. And we'll just look at the stages of glass and metal recycling. So for glass recycling, the glass is sorted by colour, it's crushed, melted and then reshaped into a different glass product. So that sounds a lot better than throwing it onto landfill. And similarly with metal recycling, the metal is collected and it will be sorted by metal type and then it will be melted down which does require a bit of energy 
much less energy than it would be to dig out loads of rocks in a quarry and transport them and extract the metal that way. After they're melted, they are then recast into a new shape and cooled down to produce your new metal product. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video, then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.